Hi guys, it's Sophie. So today I'm going to be reviewing The Girls by Emma Klein for you. Um, this book was kindly sent to me for review by Penguin Random House um, and it doesn't come out until uh, the 16th of June 2016 but I just wanted to review it now while it's fresh in my mind. The main character of The Girls is a girl called Evie who is a pretty normal sort of girl growing up in the late 60s. Um, she has sort of some family issues, her parents are going through hard times, but really she's quite normal. Um, she has quite a close friend called Connie who she sort of hangs out with and they just chat about nothing and do sort of friendly things together. Um, overall her life really isn't that interesting. Right at the very beginning of the book um, she meets in the park this girl called Suzanne who she sees as sort of this essential other. Um, she finds her really intriguing. She, she's wearing an odd sort of dress and um, seems almost feral in her appearance and is completely drawn to her. As the book progresses she becomes a little bit obsessed with Suzanne and eventually falls in with her and her crowd um, and it turns out that they're not quite just ordinary girls, they are actually something different. So if you don't want any more spoilers then that's probably enough of a summary um, without giving anything away. Uh, if you want to know a bit more then just stick around. <laughs> So from this point on, the story essentially follows um, the Manson story. So Charles Manson, um, who was a cult leader in the 60s in America, um, and it very closely follows his story and the story of the girls who surround him. So Charles Manson was a very manipulative individual who was very good at getting other people to do his bidding. Um, and a uh, sort of main villain, I suppose, in, in this storyline too, a guy called Russell, has that same sort of feeling around him that he doesn't really need to do anything, other people would do it for him. In this cult, as in a lot of cults, if you know anything about cults, there's a lot of drugs, there's a lot of sort of mind-altering substances that help um, these individuals to manipulate their victims, um, and it sort of becomes this odd sort of manic energy within the cult where there's lots of drugs, lots of sex, um, and normally not a lot of food, not a lot of sleep. So Evie's sort of drawn into this world um, with them. Um, because, mainly because she's so interested in Suzanne um, and that was one of the parts of this book I didn't like so just in terms of overall thoughts I did give it three out of five stars um, I had expected to give it four because I'm really interested in the subject matter I know a fair bit about it but I think that probably let me down actually and I probably would have enjoyed it more had I known less about the case itself so in reality Charles Manson um, was quite visibly sort of mentally odd. Um, if you ever watch any videos of him that are available on YouTube you can see that he has some very odd effects. Um, he speaks in a very strange manner um, and can go from sort of cackling to these odd philosophical statements very quickly. Um, a very odd energy about him. Russell I think was far more self-possessed um, and far more impact was put on, on the girls and on their involvement um, which is kind of what happened in reality that as the case unfolded the girls were sort of centre stage for a while um, because the crime itself, a murder, um, was committed by the girls and not Charles Manson. There are parts of this writing that I really loved, um, there are parts of it that were so relatable like really really relatable um, and you know when you have that sort of moment where you're reading where you think that exactly that I had that and I think in terms of a teenage girl's experience of an event I thought that was really well done um, th for me it was the fact that it was it was such a twist between the factual and the fiction um, so I think they actually directly quoted Manson a few times and what Russell was saying but he wasn't acting in a way that was sort of all that consistent with how Charles Manson acted in real life and I think personally for me that meant I, it did feel a little bit off um, it felt very much as though she was pulling from the story uh, heavily in some places where it suited and then easing off when it didn't um, and I didn't really like that so much um, although if I'd read it on its own and I took it just as a work of fiction and ignored the fact that it ever happened in real life then it was really well done and the story makes sense internally um, so props for that because it can be hard sort of adapting a real life story and making it all that interesting. I did enjoy the relationship Evie had with her mother though, um, I think that was very well done. I think that was probably the relationship that I thought was probably the most realistic in the novel. Um, the way her mother's attention was sort of being pulled away by, by a new man who was in her life um, and she had that very sort of teenage response of not thinking, you know, it's just mum's out on dates, of thinking like, oh no, you know, I'm all alone. Um, and I thought that was really relatable and really well done and that isn't something that I'm aware, it sort of had played into the real story so I think I enjoyed the entirely fictional elements far more than I did the bits that were based on the on the true story um, but I would say if you're someone who 
doesn't know all that much about the, the true story, you're probably really going to enjoy this book and I think the majority of the population knows less about it than I would. So I think it's going to appeal to a lot more people than the people who are like true crime aficionados. I hope that's been of use and maybe you've sort of taken something away from this video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below whether you are interested or put off by the girls thus far. Thank you all ever so much for watching and I will see you again soon in my next video. Bye bye.